Hey guys and girls and welcome to Game Slots. My name is Coops and today we are doing The Departing from Path of Fire, the uh, the new expansion for Guild Wars 2. It's all very exciting. Um, I've just been to the Lost City um, and, and found out a few things. Nothing groundbreaking as such, uh, just that uh, Glint's legacy was to convert um, the Elder Dragons to make them good, or to bring balance to the Force. Yeah. So, it's <laughs> basically, since we've destroyed two Elder Dragons, it kind of created upheaval in the Amnoon, um, and the, the every, everywhere just kind of went a bit gaffy. Uh, so, that's obviously what the, the, the Lint's, Glint's legacy are trying to do. They're trying to bring balance back to the magical flow of things. Um, obviously, there's only one left now, and that's Aureen. So we've got to make sure Aureen survives. Um, and then maybe later on, um, in later expansions, we'll be going and converting the other old dragons to make them nice and peaceful and stop trying to kill everybody. But for now, we're going to go into the instance. Uh, to get here, you have to jump up here. Um, the Pillars of uh, Supremacy. Uh, so go from this waypoint, you just run down here, and you'll need uh, good old Jerry, your Jerry Springer. <laughs> Jerry Springer, see what I did there? It's hilarious! I am so funny. Uh, you, need, you use your, your Jerry Springer to get up here, and this is where the instance is for the departing. So let's do this. Let's go. Okay. Okay, so my companions are up here then. Oh, it's gone dark. What is that? Oh, it's Balthazar. Expecting someone else? Ah. What's this? Oh God! I can't face him alone. Ah! Ow! Leave me alone! Stop being a bully! He's really mad with me, I can tell. Oh. Obviously, we're not going to be able to kill him here. I mean, that would be really anticlimactic. Oh, That's... oh he's invulnerable. I'm up, I'm up. Okay. Jeez Louise, just stop. Just stop and die with some dignity, Balthazar. Ah. <laughs> okay, so apparently I can't die, I've just got to keep fighting. Which is interesting. What? Ah, oh, oh, hello. Suffer a little longer. Cry out, let everyone hear. So this is all pretty much scripted. It's a scripted battle. Um, don't think you'll be able to win. Just got to keep fighting, I think. Yeah. Okay, 50%. Why is he not dying? Why, why is the battle still going? Such a small damn area.
Ah. Vulnerable. Really just pay attention to the fight rather than reading what he's putting because I can't hear him. I'm guessing there's probably an achievement for this to do the entire battle without being down. Maybe. Other than the scripted one, obviously. Fire, I think, is moving inwards, making it more difficult. And less room to maneuver. Oh, he's back to 100%. How sad for you to die so far from home. <laughs> ah, the Sire. Come here to defend your champion. Green, no! What the hell? That's okay. I think. Oh god. God, I think I'm dead. Yeah, yeah, I'm dead. Take breath, no me. 
I am King Choco, the Inevitable. The last primeval king. Choco the Undying. The Scourge of Fabi. Choco the Feared. Choco the Beloved. Choco, the eternal monarch of all. How dare you claim to not know who I am? But you are not a spirit. What are you doing here? I was deceived by the fallen god Balthazar. <laughs> I led him here to claim spirits for his army. In exchange, I was promised a share of his new recruits. But he betrayed me, and stranded me here instead. Perfidy, from now on, the only god I trust is me. Good lord. You are no god. You are an abomination inflicted on a crystal desert like a wound. Like a plague. I am a god. God king of Alona. The Crystal Desert and all their environs. Genuflet, peasant. You have no authority here. Only the judge does. He was appointed by Gren, a true god. Ah, gods, dragons, nations. Soon all will grovel at the feet of Paloa Joto. Come, gentle spirit. You must take the next steps. And I've heard enough of Joko's blasphemies. Okay. Who is the judge? The domain of the law. He is a loyal servant of Gren, charged with sending all the spirits who come through here to their appointed place. But I don't know who I am. I don't know where I should be. Come, spirit. Do not be afraid. Huh. I'm not sure why I'm here. Or even who I am. That's because most spirits find their own way to their fate when they die. But those whose deaths are too traumatic often forget who they were. Or how they perished. These spirits, like you and me, end up here, in the domain of the lost. But I can't be here. You will reach your rightful place in time. First, you must recover your name, to know who you were and how you lived. Then, you must learn your purpose, to understand the choices you made and why you lived as you did. Once you know your name and purpose, only then can I determine your final destination. But how do I do that? Nana has traveled the path you now face. She can assist you. For though they may have belonged to you in life, once your name and purpose enter this domain, they are yours no longer. And you will have to fight to reclaim your name. Now, arm yourself. Mina, so you discovered your name. How do I reclaim mine? I learned my name from the spirit of my old mentor. But only after vesting him in a challenge of riddles. I discovered my purpose hidden in an old diary I had written as a child. I was a teacher. Is it that simple? It's different for everyone. The judge said you must fight to recover your name. So you clearly weren't the teacher. A soldier, perhaps? I... I don't know. Well, if you are to fight, you must first arm yourself. With what? Spirits must abandon their possessions before they may move on. Okay, search for weapons. Oh, I like how you jump. Like, Wee! That's pretty cool. 
all ghostly and and stuff. Lost spirit. No. Let's go in here, spider sacks. Uh, nothing of importance in there. Oh, there's a fire there. Okay, find a weapon. Mm. Let's follow these lanterns that might lead us somewhere. Brap. <laughs> Look around the area, and perhaps you will find something useful. Oh, a weapon. There's nothing usable here. I want that. I don't know what it is, but I want it. There's nothing usable here. Nothing here. I'll have to keep searching. I should be able to fight with this. That spirit. Looks just like me. We should follow. It does look just like me. That's pretty awesome. Usually they don't. So basically, I'm dead. Balthazar killed me, and now I'm in here. And I need to discover who I am and what my purpose was. And then I'm pretty sure they'll be like, Ah, well, you died too soon. You must go back and finish what you started, or something to that effect. Maybe I'm on, like, borrowed time. It's like, you must finish what you started, but you will return here. So after we've killed Balthazar, we'll have to come back and 
will be dead forever. I start with the bird. Very interesting. Oh, hello. Could I have all SNAP prize participants gather around? Today, Today if possible. Savant, allow me to present three of Vratisil's finest minds. Slep of the Vigil, Batanga of the Order of Whispers, and Crosso of the Derman Priory. Oh my god, it's going through all the past stuff. Oh, I want to go there. Zaitan rose from slumber. The dragon found a long dead nation and claimed it. You just knew Traherne would make an appearance. Ugh. <laughs> oh, pale tree. The soul of Tyria mourned as her children were cut down by the beast. The land wept and the world shuddered. This is pretty cool. No, nobody believed I had courage. Not even me. And then you came along. And you trusted me then, my friend. And I need you to trust me now. I can do this. Our victory at Fort Trinity will show the world that we can strike against the dragons. Assault Ara. We, we can destroy Zaitan before the dragon's infection claims us all. together to fight a greater foe. You have shown the way. You've had, you've had my gratitude, Commander, for all you've done. She's just basically going through everything in the past. Into night, I, I saw it. I, I, I stared into the abyss, oh and it stared back at me. So, so much power. I don't, I don't know what's real and what isn't anymore. Scarlet. The city. It's, it's gone. gone. All gone. And here, at the center, this lone me. Aren't you even curious about why I did it? All this chaos and destruction? When she attacks, make it count. End this now. That, will, uh, that brings back horrible memories of having to stomp her to get an achievement. It's like stomp her before she managed to push you back. Oh, I had to get Nix to do it. I got so angry I punched you, my you screen. Fools. Not even joking. You think my death saves you? Too late. So it starts with Scarlet. Oh, it's more dramatic. I 
I have something I can no longer protect. You must understand its importance to Tyria's future. The, the legends were true. There is a dragon egg. Where are you going, Kate? You're, you're not leaving until you tell me the truth. Fowlin, is it necessary? We come from the jungle, dragon. We belong to it. We are meant to serve it. Hmm. With everything we had to deal with here, the Pax fleet may have already launched. This is a lot of story to go through. A <laughs> no welcome sight, Commander. The situation's grim. Mordermoth tore the fleet apart. Perfect. is in ruins. I don't, I don't trust Elvari. You need neither should, should you. It's a bit, um, it's a bit like a filler episode, this, isn't it? So, sort of like, I just took something in there just to fill the gap. Make it seem like something's happening. Mother, look out! No! This offspring has chosen you. Channel this gift to get the egg to safety. Confront Mordromoth. No matter how that mission ends, know that you have restored hope to Tyria and to the world. Tyria and Tyria. <laughs> you, you must kill me, Commander, before that seed grows, before Mordromoth reclaims what it has lost. Our creator now lies vanquished. Where does that leave the Silvari? What is our place in this new world we've created? Hmm. Getting closer. Dragon's Watch. I like that. And, and Tyria would probably sleep more soundly with the Dragon Slayer at the helm of a new guild. So only you get to decide when we take down a dragon? Only you are allowed to kill them? You know, you know what, Commander? I'm glad you didn't join Destiny's Edge. My mother wouldn't want you in there. Oh, shit. Such a whiny little bitch. Yeah, your mum's dead. Get over it. That's safe. And I lay down my life for... What should we call it? Her. Her, Her name, name is Aurene. We remember Aurene now. I am the last Mersat. Many years ago, you knew me as Lazarus the Dyer. I have returned from the brink of existence. Who would pose as Lazarus? No, no, it can't be. Oh, but it can. Revenge on the other gods, and he's going to use all means to get it. 
I have to convince the judge to send me back. Turn to the judge. I don't know where he is. Okay. So I, maybe that was like a, a just a quick recap for anyone who's not got a clue what the hell is going on and is confused. I mean, it's all pretty self-explanatory, you know. We know what's going on. Well, I do at least. So, yeah. I'm not. I'm not quite sure. Yeah. Length welcomes all, noble spirit. Step forward, and I will send you to your appointed place. You must let me go back. I see you clearly now, Commander. Balthazar killed you, but you would face him again? Yeah. Balthazar has done great harm here. The magic he uses to hijack spirits shakes the foundations of the domain of the lost but i cannot help you if i could only get back if i could defeat him it might undo the damage he's done in both our worlds <sighs> it is too late no life remains in your body unless when balthazar left a fearsome beast, the Eater of Souls, rose to prey on the waning life energy of the spirits here. That's got to be the scream I've heard in the distance. If you were to defeat the beast and claim its power, that life energy might be strong enough to reanimate your body, allowing you to go back. But... If you were to fail, the beast would consume your entirety. I could grant you no final reward or punishment. Your spirit would simply cease to be. I'll take that risk. Now that I've rediscovered my purpose, I have to go back to finish what I started. Then in Grenth's name, conquer the Eater of Souls and live again. Remind Balthazar that none escape judgment. Well, okay. There's a portal up there. Maybe we should just fly through that and there you go. I'm out. <laughs> Looks surprisingly like um, the mouth of Zaitan. What the hell? Ah! He's very strong. Spend this entire fight on the floor. Probably. Oh, I do like I could just return to Alona. Oh, sorry, the Elone River side thing, place. Yeah, I could just return there and I'd be alive again. Or would I? That would be interesting. Would I actually still be dead? Damn, son! Ridiculously overpowered. And he's full health again. What the crap? Oh, God. I guess I've just got to stay away from him. As far away as possible. Stop! Look, all his health comes back. Oh, my. 
gets a CC bar, but I don't think I can actually stop him. My CC is not that good. away from me. Now everything's on fucking recharge. So you've got a split second to CC it. He's almost dead. There we go. You did it. All these spirits have been revived. This certainly oh, is unusual, okay. Commander. But since Jogo's arrival, nothing here has been the same. It's clear he doesn't belong here. He's not a spirit, but he's not. I knew he'd be back. But I bear no grudges, harbor no ill will. Release me now, and I will still honor the deal you foolishly rejected. Your help is worthless. I found my own way back, and I'm off to succeed where you failed, by defeating Balthazar. Good for you. Such pluck and self-delusion. Off you. Go then. Of course, you are forgetting one crucial detail. Balthazar has an army. Do you have an army, little one? Well, I do. An army to rival that of the disgraced god. We both know you don't stand a chance without my awakened soldiers. You may be right about that. I do need your army, but I don't need you. What? No. My awakened are loyal to me. They'll never obey anyone but their beloved God King. Really? Because in your absence, your army obeys the Mordant Crescent. I've seen it, and I can use it. I warn you, do not leave me here. By royal decree, I forbid it. Sorry, <laughs> your majesty. But from what I've seen, your kingdom is better off without you. Nice. Bye! <laughs> um, okay. Okay, well, I can't use them out, that's fine. Huh. This is very reminiscent of the Halloween. This is your last chance. I will return to reclaim my throne. And I will have my revenge on those who put me here, who left me here, and who dare take advantage of my absence. The torture, the yes, I have blotted it out. I will just laugh as they're 
wretched pleas for a longer life turn to desperate cries for a faster death. <laughs> okay, bye then. <laughs> Is that? Wait, what's going on there? You all said the commander was dead. I, I was dead, Tiny. But now I'm back. Yeah, but that's not how dead works. She makes a good point. <laughs> we all checked, Commander, and you were very much no longer with us. And he's still not. This is a trick. Kaz, is this one of yours? It's not an illusion. Not me. I'm alive. I'm still the commander. Poke him! If he's squishy, he's a mummy. If he's leathery, he's awakened. And if he's nothing, he's a ghost. We're not going to poke the commander, Timey. Listen, Balthazar has Orin. We know. He does. He was taking her south toward Kralkatorik when we arrived. We tried to stop him, but there were too many forged. And I hate being the bearer of bad news, but it appears that Balthazar has managed to build up quite a formidable army of forged. He does seem to make them faster than we can break them. That's why we need an army of our own. And I met someone in the Domain of the Lost who told me where I can borrow one. Borrow an army? Domain of the Lost? Yay! We have a plan! Kaz! Have you got anything that can change our appearances? Yes, but nothing that can make the four of us look like an army. It doesn't have to. It just needs to disguise us as someone else, after I secure our cover story. Okay, I'll be standing by. And I'll be at the casino in Amnoon. If you can come back from the dead, I want to double my wager on you. Fine. <laughs> I'll get word to you all when the time is right. Oh, hey, Commander. Good to have you back. Oh, they all care about me. You guys. Oh, you make me blood. <laughs> really? Okay. <laughs> there we go. That's the departing complete. It was quite long winded, not gonna lie. I can unlock that now, which is always good. So now I can use those um, portal things on my. Jack off my jack all, which is in essence uh, the raptor that can use portals. Don't know what it is, so yeah. Um, okay, so what have we learned? Not a whole lot. Basically, I think Balthazar lured us out so uh, that we would um, so that we would bring Aureen, maybe. Um, even you know, just killers, maybe. I don't know. Why? Why? I actually said in the fight, I don't want to kill you. What? Of course, I want to kill you. There's no point, right? To kill Balthazar, make him dead in the face twice. You know. Um. But yes, Orin came to save me, and ah, uh, he has Orin. This, this does not make me happy at all. Um, he's got my baby. So, I'm going to go and get my baby back. Um, I, I'm really dreading something happening to Aureen. So, I hope nothing does, because I might just blub like a little girl. Cry like a baby. But anyway, um, that's it for this video. Um, I'm moving on t now to bringing out the Archon. Um, and then to Joko's kingdom in the desolation, which I've already done. Um, I waypoint uh, teleports to a friend, so uh, I got into there. Um, the desolation. I have had a look around, and gonna just just throw this one out there. I don't like it. I am not a big fan of the the desolation map. Um, I'm sure once you know, once I've been around there and everything, it'll. I'll get used to it, but uh, first impressions are ah, oh, there's just overpowered enemies everywhere, um, and it's just a bit 
horrible. Those mines as well. Damn, you touch a mine, it blows you and and everyone in a six mile radius of they're like nuclear bombs. So anyway, uh, yeah. So I'm gonna be heading over to the desolation now. Um, doing full exploration, like map completion on desolation, is going to be a ball ache, I would imagine. I've done it on the first two maps. Um, thoroughly enjoyed it. Thoroughly love the new maps. Think they're great. Um, Heart of Thorns maps were very up and down, many different layers, and that's what I didn't like. I didn't like that about those maps. They were too up and down, too easy to get lost. These maps are nice and open with just the right amount of up and down that, you know, it's it's explorable in, in and it's, it's varied. That's the word I'm looking for, varied. So, it's just the right amount of that and... I'm absolutely loving the new maps. I'm loving the story at the minute. Really, really good. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna just gonna press on. Let's go get Joko's army. I'm guessing what uh, he's going to get Kazmir to do is disguise me as Palawa Joko or King Joko, as you probably know him. Um, obviously, he was Palawa Joko in Guild Wars One. So that's what I've always known him as. Um, yeah, so they'll disguise me as, as Joko, and then I'll go in and be like, Hey, army, come follow me, rah, and all that jazz, so it's all going to be good. So anyway, um, this episode's gone on for quite a long time, just purely based on the fact that I've been standing around listening to Spirits Talk, learning who I am, and going through the entire history of the, the last four years of this game. So, <laughs> it's really interesting. Um, yeah, so thank you very much for watching, guys. I will catch you in the next episode, whichever, whatever the next instance is. It might be uh, bringing out the Archon. It might not be. Who knows? Um, but I love you all with affections unspeakable.